Unlike other robot mops on the market, this one comes with a self-cleaning base that washes and dries its mops automatically. Meets the new mopping robot the Norval T10. The robot and self-cleaning base come in two separate packages. The box includes a sweeping model with two spare side brushes, two mopping models with two extra mopping pads, magnetic boundary tape, two spare water filters and a figure 8 cable. I have been running it every day for about a week, so let's talk about my experience with the Norval. What I love the most is the charging base. On top you can see a display that shows current cleaning status, maintaining alerts and other things. The robot itself looks really cool too. The mopping pads have magnets, they can be easily attached and removed. Look at that cool thing! Instead of manually taking the robot out of the base, you can simply touch the exit button and it will leave the station. This feature is convenient when you need to switch the cleaning model or empty the dustbin. You can send it back to the base by tapping the button again. The base has two large water tanks for clean and dirty water. Each container holds 5 liters of water, which is the biggest in the industry. Water from the clean water tank is used to wash the mopping pads and then being pumped right into the tank with wasted water. Depending on mopping settings, the robot will return to the base to wash the pads every once in a while and then gets back to finish the job. You can choose between three mopping mods, dry, normal and wet, and select cleaning cycles up to three times per room. In mopping mod, suction is turned off, so you can use the robot on wet spills. It takes about 75 seconds to wash the pads. Here I am, picking up the wastewater container after the first run. I made concentrated coffee stains to test the mopping performance and let it dry. After two passes, the robot removed stains almost completely. For the second test, I used coffee and two types of sauce. It removed all stains except for soy sauce. In mopping mod, it leaves a small corner area untouched. In this test, you can see the Norval removing all stains, but leaving some in a gap between the tile. Because of having two separate models, the robot does not vacuum and mop at the same time. The Norval is not only a mopping robot, but also is a vacuum cleaner. The capacity of the dustbin is 400 ml, which is on the smallest side. Inside the dustbin you can see a HEPA filter. As you can see, the vacuum model has two magnets, so installing is really easy. There is no cleaning brush, only a section port and two side brushes. On the display you can see current cleaning progress. To test the cleaning performance on hard floors, I used different kinds of debris. It scored 91% at the end. The Narval has the largest battery in the industry. It lasts for up to 3 hours on a single charge. I was really impressed by the corner cleaning ability. Because of its shape, the Narval gets closer to the walls, removing debris better than most robots. I was impressed seeing the robot picking up 95% of sand on hard floors. What I noticed is the Narval being a bit too rough with the obstacles. Sometimes it bumps into objects at full speed. It picked up lots of dust and hair after the first run. I 
I set no mob zones in the carpet area to see how well the robot avoids the carpet in mopping mode and navigates around the obstacles. As you can see, the robot covered the whole area without missing spots. The magnetic tape prevents the robot from going to certain places and, as you can see, it works really well. The robot fits under furniture with a gap of more than 4.2 inches. I tested it on low and medium pile carpet with sand and different kinds of debris. It is not as good as some other high-end robot vacuums I have tested as it doesn't have a roller brush, yet it shows good performance on hard floors. I would not recommend the Narval for homes with mostly carpeted surface. Another cool thing is the magnetic cleaning tool. The base requires some maintenance, like cleaning the tray once in a while and replacing the filters in the water container. You can make preset scenarios. For mopping, set the moisture level and how many times the robot should mop each room. For vacuum, there are only cleaning cycles to choose from. The suction level has to be set manually. There is a quick menu where you can select a room or a few to clean. The map menu contains room partition, merging as well as renaming, though you can only select the names from the list. You can set separate no mop or no vacuum zones. It would keep the robot off certain areas depending on the attached model. There is also cleaning history, the ability to change the robot's volume, check for firmware updates, set child's lock or disable cliff sensor if you have black carpets. To build a map, the Narwhal goes to each room scanning the surroundings. After returning to the base, it saves the created map. It took 9 minutes to complete the plan of my apartment. In the end, I have to say I really enjoyed using the Norval. I run it with the vacuum model first and then switch to the mapping model. Switching between the models is fast and convenient, no need of cleaning the main brush roll, only empty the dustbin and the robot is ready to go. No more worries about the damn clothes staying attached to the cleaner after cleaning. If you are a fan of cleaning on schedule, this robot is not for you, as for now cleaning at a specific time has not been implemented, yet it's going to be fulfilled in the future up. The robot also does not support saving multiple maps. To clean the second floor, you would need to take the robot upstairs and rebuild the map. I really like that feature of calling the robot directly from the base and you don't have to take it off the base manually to clean the dustbin or switch the models. I love the way charging dock looks and the displays that it forms about everything. And I have to remind the Norval is firstly a mop and only then a vacuum, so I would not recommend getting it if you have lots of carpets or mostly carpets. There are no carpets in my place and I have to say this thing has been perfect for my home. Thank you for watching, check the links in the description and see you next time!